morning, afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. Welcome to another catch up of the demolition site. So, let's not hang around, let's spin that around. As you can see, pretty clean over this way, obviously. And that has uh, come down quite nicely, which if uh, you can just about get a chance just to take a still. Perfect. But it's not doing too bad round here. I think most of the work on this side might have uh, finished ish for now, anyway. I think they're just doing the clean up areas and the sort of like cleaning up that box area or whatever the concrete stuff is there. For, uh, waiting for when the steels and the new slabs and stuff goes in for the market side over here. And as we can see over there, quite a lot has been moved on and uh, the things where I said it looked like something had hit the fence, apparently that had been a collapse. And that's only apparently because I don't know whether it actually was a proper collapse or what, but has been reported by a few of the people and uh, in the news and stuff part of it, uh, one of the big slabs, possibly that big slab that they were pecking at, that was the collapse. You never know. But it's all quiet at the moment, and then again it is, like before lunchtime. You know, um, you know, we're going to athletic at home today against um, Portsmouth, so uh, Pompey are up here. It's going to be a good game actually, that one last time I watched, watched them two play, that was a good game. Uh, and I will say this one, there will be uh, another vlog coming up at some point from Rugby because at least I can go to the semi-final. Don't know who we're against yet. Uh, so far, Hull KR are through after beating Lee. And then today's game is um, what, Warrington away at St. Helens. So if Warrington win, we, play Saint, we will play Warrington. If Saints win, then we'll play KR. Personally, I'm hoping that it's going to be a close game today. <laughs> you know, rather than a big blowout, because you don't... Yeah, a blowout's entertaining, but for the neutrals, you don't really want a blowout. You want to see a bit of skill and stuff. But anyway, let's spin you around and see from over here. You see the cube and everything. All of there. Right, so I'll go on this side first. Possibly give you a better angle over here. I have to get my arm through here a bit better. Quite a lot over there, it's still quite clean. But most of the work's on down there, which I'm gonna hunt. see if I can just uh, get a good angle or something. But a lot of it, they've blocked up a lot of the ways to see. So, let's give you a zoom in on that bit down there. It's a shame I can't get up high, up high anywhere. We don't have any ladders or don't have any like, big ways of looking on things because I can't stand on the benches because they don't really give me much help, extra advantage. I need an extra meter or so on from this angle. Look <laughs> all the diggers and everything sat there. So, obviously I will be doing that vlog next weekend. So this, so next weekend's one of these might be delayed a few days into the following week. Due to I won't have a chance to film both back to back. So you will have to forgive me for being a wee bit late next week. But it is weird, it's always going to feel weird seeing this lot coming down. And there ain't much left standing that's going to stop it coming down towards the road soon. This is close. And obviously that mural. Well, 
every week I come down here and every time I see it you just get closer and closer and closer to the road which give that a few months the majority of this will all be down and then they'll be heading towards the market side where they'll stop but this is just amazing how much of it has come down how much of it is left and I know some people will constantly keep saying in the comments of everyone's videos this is sacrilege yeah, and they didn't need to take all of this down but you know what councils are like when they get a progress idea in the red they won't leave it alone which my word yep right so let's have a look ski So that bit there that you can see, the, which is hanging down, that's apparently the collapse. So, uh, yeah, because apparently it had come down and gone across the sort of the debris, it hit that like, hoarding, hoarding fence and stuff and everything. So, uh, ooh. It's just weird, especially when you can see a big wide open crater space like that. And there's just a huge hole, which is the back of what was what, the Morrison's? And you got the office spaces above it and everything, but geez, you know. I know I'm probably going to keep banging on about it, but. My thoughts is we do, we do not need to pull down the market hall side. You know, we could easily turn that into an indoor arena or something useful. If it was like a, you know, repurposed big venue or something, you know, we could turn that into like an indoor attraction space. But with all this lot coming down soon and then uh, the market going down once that new market's open, that is just going to be kind of a bit of an annoyance anyway pause forgive me another stupid voice but wow 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 you can really see the difference on this side in my word as it starts to drizzle as well so that's uh that's the nice, especially when you don't have a coat on. You just have a nice hoodie. Ah, well, if I get damp, I get damp. But, wow. So now they're tracing their way through and they're going all the way through there, which... I cannot remember what was in that side. Then again, I didn't really go over that side much. But, Jesus, you can still see the pile of uh, scrap metal. And everything there and another mound of muck a small mound of muck which is over here not a marvelous mound of muck just yet but a mound of muck all mechanical dinosaurs sleep over there another one sleep there a man lift cherry picker thing there and a couple more metallic dinosaur digger dunks over there and some parts for a long reach on the floor over that side so I'll give you a zoom in on those long reach parts. But yeah, there's some uh, stuff and then once all of this mound of muck is gone, you'll actually be able to see all the way through it all, which is uh, insane. Anyway, yeah, you'll uh, have to forgive me a bit of a delay if that happens because I am going watching, watching the rugby next Saturday. So uh, obviously, I'm going to be a wee bit busy and I won't have the chance to do a two in one because I've got to kind of prioritise the, the film space. Plus, kind of, that'll mean then that the following week I can get it back onto its usual trajectory of the, during the weeks rather than on the Saturdays. So, as the rain starts to fall, let's check in on a few other places, shall we? Well, we've got what, Sinky Dinky all over here, which is still there. 
don't know what's caused that and again usually it could have been like a leaky pipe or something or there could have been like you know a weakness under there at some point like who knows sinkholes occur in random places at random times and they are very random so still not aware of what these slabs are I haven't really paid attention <laughs> to what they are but all of this lot that's in here which if I just stick y'all through there and try and see if I can give you a zoom 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 clock is still quite well out well over an hour by now Look quite good, Saturday. But yeah, not bad. Anyway, let's go see how the progress is going by taking down the uh, the, the frontage. Pause. Okay, well, unless there's more progress being made behind all of the hordes, I cannot see a lot. We've been pulled down, but. That's you never know, you never know. Actually, yeah, they have made a bit more progress. They come down from just above the end of the scaff. So they come down at least one, one layer of scaff. It's a good amount, and as I said last week, very clean cutaways on both sides. Unlike on the other side where it was uh, connected into the buildings quite solidly. So this is uh, quite well cut out and, well, what goes is no more, that's been gone for a while. I'm going to keep saying this every time, we could use at least one decent space inside of there. Even if it was just like, you know, a Wigan version of Aflex. I know I've probably said that about ten times. And I'm going to keep saying it. We're going to need that and uh, quite a few other things go on and um, again, what other eateries would you like to see? Because now we've got Taco Bell open. That's uh, going to be interesting, which I will try that one here next weekend, I think. Unless, uh, unless we can get a delivery during the week. I will be uh, trying that on the weekend, I think. Not this weekend, but next weekend. Um, everything else? I don't know. Kind of hopefully we get something different. Like, you know, hopefully we do get a Wendy's because I know there is, um, you know, plans by Wendy's corporate to uh, try and bring some stores and restaurants up into Greater Manchester and the Lancashire area. So hopefully we are one of them, because to be honest, I don't really want a Five Guys as one of my first major ones on the new expansions, because I've had Five Guys, as you can uh, find out further, so I will try and remember the link and put the five guys link in there where it's uh i think it's uh, i think the label is foxy drives five guys so you can uh, find me there somewhere and uh, everything else it's good but the price is a little much that's all and uh the food is a wee bit rich but hey that's just besides the point but for everything else yeah mm, yeah get a wendy more than a five guys uh, you know, maybe get some decent size E3s like Texas Roadhouse, you know, or whatever, or even if we get like an Outback or something like that, or, I know, I ain't going to mention it, but there is the Hood Hood, which I'm not going to mention, but the Hood Hood, that would be a good one, it would be an entertaining one, but I doubt that's ever going to happen, because people have the furore of uh, not liking this, so, uh, this is the way that goes. As for, uh, you know, what cinema companies are going to take over. If anyone does take over, I would rather that they took over the one down that we've already got ready built, but obviously, yeah, a deal probably might end up being done over here for one of the major things. So it could be Odeon, it could be View, or it could be anyone, but I'd rather they took over the one which is already built. So at least then we could actually, uh, you know, get a different thing in there. Maybe we we'll actually uh, turn that into a venue space. I know we've got a lot of other stuff, but uh, that's besides the point. Anyway, before I start rambling on too much, I will sign out. So, I will see you again at some point. It may be delayed, as I have warned you. So, see you, Starside.
don't get too stressed. Life is only what you put into it. Peace. Goodbye. <laughs>